So today we're over in Savage Skull to get eyes on early Town Hall 15 clan war attack strategies. I mean, we need these, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and start taking a look at some early Electro Titan three star attack strategies with the assistance of witches. We got Ken5 here from Savage Esports, seven Electro Titans, eight witches with the log launcher and then the zap quake you already know how this is going to go down with this town hall 14 meta base and inside this compartment we have the level two monolith and watch how he's going to take out these three major defenses expo scatter shot down goes the earthquake spell and the level 10 lightning spell <laughs> too easy man too easy and then he's going to drop that jump spell from the top spreading out the electro titans and he's gonna back them up with the witch spam who doesn't love witch spam you know what i mean <laughs> this is how it goes down right here we got archer queen grand warden on the ground we got the log launcher from the top point of the base and the barbarian king on the outside flank now with this being such a spammy style army we're gonna see our electro titans and witches spread out all over the map the Electro Titans on the left are going to go with the Grand Warden, Warden's ability, and the Clan Castle troops will be pulled. Now watch the balloons get completely disintegrated and then followed up with the Lava Hound, or actually the Ice Hound in this case. The Ice Hound's going to pop and goodbye pups. <laughs> you got to love that Electro Titan. Royal Champion coming in, Frozen Expo, going to take down the enemy champion, and then the Archer Queen is going to work in behind the wall breakers that came from the Log Launcher with the Yetis. The Scatter Shot's going to fall. Now, unfortunately, this Town Hall is only level one, so we can only imagine how this is going to develop as the Town Halls evolve up into the fifth stage of the Giga Inferno Tower. So we're going to speed this one up just a little bit. That way you can see the end of the attack. We got a Rage coming from from the spell tower which is only level one and unfortunately the royal champion is going to get knocked out the electro titans are going to get roasted so the archer queen is going to have to sneak in here work on the wall and she's going to cross in there and take down that town hall and finish up the rest of this base but either way it's really nice to see that the electro titans are already coming into play very early on since they are released within what 24 hours like it's only been 24 hours but there's your army right there let's take a look at another one of these attacks and for attack number two we got Udon with the same exact army now we're gonna see a trend here with the destruction of the scatter shot and the ground set expo using the earthquake spell as well as those level 10 lightning spells beautiful goodbye and then he's gonna drop a jump spell up top and spread out those electro titans as well as the witches to back them up Dropping the Archer Queen to back those with the Unicorn in tow, as well as the Grand Warned and the Owl. Log Launcher pathing. That log is going to go through the center of the base, doing damage to the Eagle Artillery. The Expo might start getting a little bit of damage on the single target. There it goes. And then as it travels forward, it's going to start doing damage to the Monolith as well. Inside the Clan Castle, Lava Hound. <laughs> you know how this is going to go down. That Hound is going to pop. The E-Titans are going to roast those pups. We have a spread of Electro Titans and Witches on the other side working on the next scatter shot. Free spell down. Here comes the Royal Champion. The Barbarian King is going to take some damage from the Monolith. His ability will be used. Free spell on the Monolith and the Town Hall. And then they're going to get caught in a Tornado Trap. Not a big deal. They're going to prevail. Archer Queen locked on to an Inferno Tower. King is locked on to the Town Hall, taking it out. And then you're going to see Hidden Teslas. <laughs> All we got left here is Hidden Teslas and the Expo. Royal Champion flanking in. Her ability is going to get used. We still have an Archer Queen's ability, and he's more than likely going to have a swag free spell. There's really no use for the free spell at this point. Outstanding pathing of the log, doing damage to serious defenses there, and just amazing to see the Electro Titans already being used. One of the things I noticed about these attack replays is that they are insanely fast attacks. I mean, most of them don't last any more than two minutes. Incredible to see the damage and destruction with these high-level troops so early on with the Town Hall 14 meta bases. Now remember, all of this stuff is going to change in the upcoming weeks, I'm sure. So we see the same exact thing with the Earthquake and the Lightning Spells taking out the Expo and the Scattershot. And then on the opposite side of the base, he's going to start 
funneling in a little bit with some Electro Titan and Witch, spreading out the rest of them to the right. And then he's got that jump spell placed for the Archer Queen, King, and the Grand Warden. The log going directly into the Eagle Artillery. Will he get some damage? Yes, he will. He's going to get a little bit of damage on that Eagle. He's going to use the Grand Warden's ability very early in this attack. And the Clan Castle on this one's a little bit different with the Ice Golems and the Balloon. The Balloon doesn't last very long at all when it comes into range of that Electro Titan's aura. Archer Queen locked on to the Inferno Tower. Barbarian King on the outside of the village. I mean, this base is falling apart fast. The Royal Champion is going to come in. There she goes. She's on the bottom of the base. Coming up into the multi-target. Taking on that free spell on the level 1 Town Hall Giga Inferno Tower. As well as a single target. Rage spell launching the Yeti into that Inferno Tower. And then directly into the Town Hall itself. And I mean, the thing is, is that... Again, it's very early, you know, like this, we got to take advantage of this while we can because there's just no guarantee that this is going to last very long. We've seen it many times in the past with new troops and then the game, you know, kind of evaluating and balancing them out over time. Royal Champion on the final defense. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well done, Ken. You're just such a beast, man. I love it so much. But anyways, I think that's it right there. There's the army right there for you to try out for yourself and we will see you in the next next video.